ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I want to come on here and spill some damn tea, okay? So if you guys do not know, Jess Hilarious, a.k.a. Jess with the mess in my news is real, she was trending today once again, and this time she wasn't trending for dragging, you know, Sikhs and, and Muslims and things like that. She was trending because she let out a tearful apology. She wrote her own letter. She wanted to apologize because, as we all know, she's been getting drugged up and down social media ever since everything went down on Sunday. People have been coming for Jess Hilarious's neck, okay? Check this out. Hey guys, just got a quick little message for uh, my fellow comedian, Jess Hilarious. Uh, I just want to start off by saying that as a Sikh man, I'm not at all offended. As a Sikh man, I'm not offended. As a comedian, I'm super offended because you call yourself Hilarious and you're not. Hilarious isn't a nickname. Hilarious is a title that you had to earn. Because I'll be honest with you, the first time I even heard of you was because people were walking out of Tommy T's in Pleasanton trying to get refunds because you couldn't follow my boy Mario Hodge because he's a monster and you're garbage. So that being out of the way, drop that nickname because you're not. Uh, also, just addressing you a little... Uh, I'm not racist, I was just scared. If I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm not racist, I'm just scared. That's understandable, you're allowed to get scared, everybody's allowed to get scared. If you're soft, go ahead and be scared of people, okay? But here's just a little short list. Here's a short list of people who are no longer with us because somebody wasn't racist, they were just scared, right? Like, I don't know, you might know Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Philando Castillo, uh, Tamir Rice. Oh, you're from Baltimore, right? Uh, Maybe you know Freddie Gray. Uh, I'm from Sacramento. There was this kid named Stephon Clark. All these people are no longer with us because somebody wasn't racist. They were just scared, okay? So all you are, you know what? I got a new nickname for you. You're no longer just hilarious. You're the Mile High Barbecue Becky, all right? Go ahead and get that, that tag. Go ahead and change your name on Instagram right now so that you can continue being an Instagram comic and stay in your lane. Stop taking stage time from real comedians because you're, tra you're trash, trash, trash. Stop it. Bye, bitch. All right, so you guys just saw that Pooja comedian. I think that's his name. Anyways, he had me cracking up. I had to insert that video. So now we're going to go on and watch Jess Hilaris's tearful apology. You guys go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, y'all, what's going on? Um... I know the situation that I'm in now, um, it's had my head fucked up as it should. Um, so I've been choked up about it. It's really been bothering me that there's being a picture painted of me like I'm a xenophobe or, you know, I'm racist, I'm, you know, prejudiced or, you know. So I wrote a statement um, and I, I wrote this myself. Sorry, I didn't go hire a publicist to get me through this or you know, write it for me, but I feel like nobody can say what I want to say like me. I don't need nobody talking for me, so here it goes. So naturally, in my previous post, I was defensive, but that happens when you don't take the time to really know what's transpiring. And understanding the error of my actions, I have to first acknowledge the rooted issues, which means racially profiling a group of individuals based on their appearance, and on top of that, publicizing it on a platform where others could be hurt by it and others were hurt from it. The feeling of anger and hurt about the situation is very familiar to me, especially being a black woman. So I should definitely empathize more with being racially profiled. On top of that, the climate that this country is in, that it that didn't do nothing but add fuel to a, wild, a wildfire that we still fighting to contain. I'm sure if these, I'm not sure if these, particular individuals that were on the plane are aware of my actions by now. But either way, I would love to apologize personally to them first, you know, for my insensitive and ignorant behavior. Yet, I still would like to apologize to all of you who were aware and offended by my actions. Sadly, I had no knowledge of the tragedy in New Zealand until after my video, which doesn't in any way excuse my behavior. I already know that nothing excuses it, but it opened up my eyes to a matter of ignorance as a habit that usually invokes hate. I refuse to teach, spread, or be an advocate for hatred. I just want to make people laugh 
you know, bear with me. I'm still learning. And when I say, you know, I'm still learning, I was unaware of Sikhs as well. Um, a lot of them reached out to me, educating me on who they are and, you know, what they stand for and, you know, how they help the world in different ways. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I am ignorant to a lot of shit. Honestly, I'm young. I'm growing in this shit. And I, I, I don't understand the power that I have, you know, so I'm just, I'm learning in it and I'm growing in it. At the same time, I didn't get anybody kicked off of a plane. I didn't say anything to anybody. I didn't get nobody. I didn't get nobody kicked off of a plane for real. So y'all can, y'all can stop saying it. You know, I know what the blogs look like. I know what. I just, I know how it looks, but I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So um, I'm donating $15,000 to those families in New Zealand. Um, and I will later post the links just in case you guys want to donate as well. Um, but I am sorry. I'm sorry to the Sikhs. I'm sorry to the Muslims. I'm sorry to that person on the plane. Because one thing I've never been is a person who bashes religion, a person that bashes other races, you know, amongst anything, period. So I am sorry. I apologize wholeheartedly. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, she only apologizing because she got called out. Now nah, I'm apologizing because it's a whole community of people out there that I've offended and I didn't know of. I didn't know them, you know. So I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm, I was unaware. Thank you for those who reached out to teach me and I will do better. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw her tearful apology. And Jess did seem really sincere. She did seem very, you know, apologetic. But, you know, my thing is this. At the end of the day, everybody loves to scream that they're young. They're young and they're still trying to figure out life. I can understand that if you're 21 and under, okay? Once you get to a certain age, especially in the real world, once again, so many celebrities, so many Instagram celebrities, so many, you know, YouTubers, they seem to con mis they seem to have the real world and the internet world meshed into one. And that's the problem. The, the problem is, like I said on Sunday, that was a real world situation that Jess Hilarious had no business even filming. She should have just kept it to herself. She thought she was being funny, but the joke backfired on her. Like I told you guys on Sunday, I knew that she wasn't the one who got them kicked off the plane. But the problem is she was trying to be funny in this hot climate. Now, this is the same girl who reports on news daily, okay? She's always reporting live from another bitch's business. Let's keep it real, okay? I'm the same damn way. So you mean to tell me that all the men that you sit and report on social media you somehow missed one of the biggest tragedies to ever hit New Zealand a topic that was trending all over social media so much so that you know President Barack Obama spoke out Joe Biden uh, Donald Trump this was on the shade room and we all know she lives in the shade room okay so I'm not buying that. That part when she tried to act like she didn't know about the tragedy to me was just bullshit because you seem to know about everything else. You seem to live in the shade room, but now when it comes to this, all of a sudden you're trying to act like you're just willfully ignorant and you knew nothing about this tragedy. You know, maybe you chose not to acknowledge it because it wasn't a funny tragedy and that doesn't fit with the whole, you know, just with the mess. It doesn't fit with that whole little scenario. So you chose not to, so you chose not to address it or acknowledge it on social media, but I highly doubt that you had no idea of the shootings that went on with the Muslim people in New Zealand okay that was worldwide news and again you can't call yourself just with the mess and that you report on the news and your news is real but somehow you missed the biggest trending topic of the day on Friday like I don't believe that whatsoever another thing that bothers me with this is that you know while I'm not saying that she's not being sincere when she apologizes in certain parts, she also wants to donate $15,000 um, to the church out there in New Zealand, the people who suffered the tragic um, events. And, you know, I respect her donating to them. But my issue is this. Um, I do feel like the reason why she is apologizing and being very tearful and apologetic is because at this point in time, she done, you know, basically offended some people that 
that's just a group you don't want to offend, okay? You, you really don't want to get the Muslims mad at you, okay? Um, there's certain groups that are highly protected when people come for them. The Muslims, the LGBT are definitely one of them as well. And so I feel like the reason why she's apologizing is because maybe her sitcom is at risk. I'm sure advertisers and people are pulling out of her shows. She might be risking her bag. Because remember on Sunday when everything went viral, she was very defiant. She was like, y'all can cancel me. I don't give a fuck. If I'm scared, I'm scared. But now she's singing a whole new tune. So, you know, usually when people's bags start getting affected, all of a sudden their attitudes change. They get very remorseful. They get very teary-eyed. They write speeches and dissertations and everything else. You know, and, and, you know, it's okay to apologize. It's okay to see the error your ways. But what I find funny is that I've seen several videos of Jess Hilarious, you know, going in on her own people, going in on black folks and saying she doesn't support black businesses and, you know, just being really disrespectful to the black community. And I've never seen her apologize. She's always been defiant. And, you know, I said what I said. It is what it is. And that's cool. If that's your stance. But if that's your stance towards your own people, keep that energy for everybody. If you won't apologize for the comments that you've made towards your own community and you don't give a shit what people think and y'all can cancel me and it is what it is, then why are you so tearful and apologetic towards, you know, the Muslim community and the, and the Sikh community? Like, why is that? So I found that very, very interesting. Let me go ahead and refresh your eyes memory in case you guys haven't seen these videos of Jess Hilarious, a.k.a. Jess with the mess. My news is real. Check this out. Black people know me. And their biggest problem with me is uh, that I don't support black businesses. And when I say this, this is like a hate crime. But you don't support black businesses? No, I don't. I support white businesses. I'm not for the black dollars matter. Everybody in this country spend their fucking money on everything. A dollar is a fucking dollar. Only black lives matter when, when white people, when white people take them. It's like we only want to scream it matters when a cop take, take a black life. Being choked out by the police and not even being killed no more. Just like being handled roughly by the police. But y'all resistant. We're on our flight. <gasps> Where are you going? Where are you going? Tell me if I'm scared, I'm scared. Fuck y'all. Fuck how y'all feel. Y'all mad at me because I don't side with every other black person. All right, so you guys just saw those videos. So, you know, again, that's why this whole situation still makes me give her the side eye because bring that same energy to everybody that you offend. You offended a lot of people. Um, I believe about a week and a half ago, you said, you know, some really derogatory comments towards the LGBT community in your comment section, and you were very defiant. You didn't apologize. You didn't give a shit. So I just find it funny, like, now with this whole situation being an international situation and people coming for her, coming for her, now we see a different side of just hilarious now we see her very meek mild crying her disposition is totally different so see again certain groups have a lot of power and that's what a lot of people need to realize there are certain groups you just can't fool with and you know i wish that you know black people had the same power as certain groups but you know it is what it is but i hope that jess is being sincere um when she says that she wants to like help out and donate and she's learned the error her ways but um again when you're saying an apology and you're trying to be apologetic, be honest. Be honest. I refuse to believe that you had no idea about what went on in New Zealand when your favorite site, The Shade Room, posted it and literally you live in The Shade Room. So that's my thing. If you're going to apologize, just be honest and say, you know, yeah, I knew about the shooting. You know, I just shouldn't have said it, period. You know, don't act willfully ignorant to get yourself out of a situation. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the whole Jess Hilarious situation. Are you guys buying her tattooed tears? Do you guys feel like she's being sincere? Or do you guys feel like, you know what, she's canceled, I'm done with her? And then how do you guys feel about the fact that, you know, she said a lot of derogatory things, a lot of derogatory things towards her own community and will not apologize, does not care, very flippant, very dismissive when black people come at her and say they're hurt by her comedy and the things that she said. But then now that it's a whole nother race of people, a whole nother ethnicity who's offended by her actions, all of a sudden now here comes the donations, here comes the tears, here comes the dissertations, the sad voice, and everything else. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment.